Yep, it's still there. That's wherever we left it. <laughs> hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to, well, to RimWorld, which has uh, got a little more dangerous on us here. This episode, I have actually got a little trepidation toward recording. Ooh, it's in stereo. Because there are so many things that can go wrong here. Playing this by myself, it'd just be a fun challenge. But I'm responsible for all these little digital dudes up here, and I want to keep them alive for the entire series. So, I've just been sitting here calculating all the things that can go wrong, and there are many. These guys, I'm pretty sure when they pop out of here, at least the, uh, the scythers, they run at about the speed of an ostrich. Of course, I won't find an ostrich to point at, will I? No. <laughs> there were a couple up here an episode ago. But they go pretty fast. And we've got a long way to go to get back to safety. So once we get that ship below 50% and they start coming at us... Yeah. Hmm. We don't have the advantage of the... The Fibers Mecha Knight. Well, we kind of do... Klaus right now is at 6.67. He's off to get a meal. I'm really curious to see if he goes up to 7.13 again when, he, when he's when he got a full belly. Wish I knew what caused this to alter a whole two points, a, a swing from one to another. Um, so we do have that with, with Klaus. Do we have it with Rabbit? We do, and with Handy. We do. Okay, well that's helpful. Of course, this is going to time out soon. Michael's already lost his, and Shantigo's lost his. Now, we talked about that last time. We never did find out why. Where was it here? Immunity gain speed, only 100%. Okay. Michael? I can't. Which is annoying. Uh, I'm going to do that. Okay. Immunity gain, 100%. Versus Klaus, who still got it. 100%. So that's not it. Maybe there's another, you know, this this blur of, of stats over here. Maybe there's something else that talks about your ability to, to heal quickly versus immune quickly or something. But I wonder why two of them have already run their course and the other four have not. That I don't know. But we've got to be able to escape this place. That's a challenge. Now, okay, we'll figure out the escape later. What do we do to attack it? We could, boy, what I wish we could do, because we just finished researching security mortars uh, right there. So we could drop, build a couple of mortars, boom, boom, and start lobbing shells over here. And, you know, 40 shells ought to give us about five good hits. <laughs> That's how inaccurate those things are. Inaccurate. Um, this doesn't really give me that sense of accuracy now. Just you got to build it first, okay? And even then, it may or may not tell you. So that's not there. Plus, I mean, yeah, we could do that, but there is an issue I ran into taking a look at that. We can build our own mortar shells. We don't have any at the at the moment, but it requires chem fuel. And we don't have any chem fuel. So 20 steel and, and 10 chem fuel for the high explosive. What's the difference between that and the... Oops, not that. Uh, uh, er, 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 put that back in there. Incendiary. There you are. I want the details. 5 and 30 versus 20 and 10. So different combination. More, more fuel, thinner shell. Okay. Hmm... So mortars are out. We can't, we can't send in air support. Okay. Um, like I said last time, normally I would build a containment structure around this, with a couple, two to four places where you can get in and almost touch it, and then just a narrow pathway to get into that point. This will randomly send out. Let me zoom out a little bit. I noticed the end of the last episode was kind of loud when I was talking. This, this haunting noise here. I did turn the. Uh, uh, the main volume down on the game for, for this episode. We'll see if that works. But if you can get in to touch this thing and tap it with a sword, you can start breaking it down. As soon as you do, it's going to send out its occupants randomly. 
When we did this in Alpha 13, we were very fortunate that they all landed inside of the contained areas. They could have just as well landed where we were standing, tapping at it, and just immediately sliced us up. So we were very fortunate then, but it's it's random where they pop out. So that is a, a risky way of doing it, let's put it that way. We don't have armor on right now, so we've got to make sure that we don't come in contact with these guys. Um, caterpillars centipedes I call them caterpillars centipedes will pop out of here but they're much slower moving but they could have rocket launchers and mini guns and and all kinds of you know blaster type weapons attached to them so they're they're dangerous too and they take a long time to take down there are so many rings you got to damage so many parts in those things before they finally stop moving so yeah this whole thing this this thing could go terribly wrong <laughs> what I'm thinking about doing is popping in probably three turrets. Here's our range. I don't know if RimWorld has taken into account that the further that I, uh, further the distance is, the less accurate it is. You know, what's that that formula that you know, they use for light and, and other things, where uh, like the square root of the distance out determines the you know the the strength of, of whatever is going out there, whether it be light or accuracy or what have you. I would want these as close as possible for accuracy. I don't know if RimWorld works that way. The further away it is, the better chance of it lasting a few shots longer before it's taken out. So there's an advantage to staying further away too. If we were to put you at like there, another one about there, that's outside of the blast radius of either one that blows up another one say right over there okay that gives us three things shooting in as well as three of us I'm picking handy rabbit and Klaus with sniper rifles from the longest distance that I can get away with and unfortunately well the, okay we do have the fibrous mechanitis in those three that's what I was checking so and handy has the increased uh, run speed anyway as being a jogger so if we can get say to here and I don't know I guess right here shooting across that point and then boy either through this notch here or all the way out here though that's a longer run home what we have to do is damage this guy. We don't have to take out the the mechanoids that are going to guard it. They will come to us once this hits 50% or less. So we've really got to take this guy out. Now, another issue that I have noticed, now I haven't played since Alpha 13, <clears throat> so all this could have changed. But the many times I played on my own back then, Usually when I got one of these guys and the amount of time it took to get ready to deal with it was about the amount of time it took for the timer to go off for your next raid. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've had some major event, whatever it is, pop in on me right about the time I'm ready to pop the can here. And if you're if you're lucky, it's you know a siege and they're they're setting up camp right here. Then, oh boy, go tap that thing and, and get those mechs out there and let them have a ball at each other. Then we'll just clean up the mess. But it usually doesn't go that fortunate. So, we need to power these guys. These are probably going to be forfeited. They're probably disposable. And I've noticed we don't get any kind of supplies back other than the ability to smelt down the leftovers. No leftovers. No leftovers. We got leftovers from the drop pods that came in and crashed and broke up our place. We've got uh, sla uh, slag, steel slag chunks. And, you know, I was thinking we could get a smelter and smelt that down and, and cremation and get rid of graves. I couldn't find that in the research. I couldn't find it already available to us. That would be, I would think that'd be production. Seems like it usually fell in right here, but otherwise miscellaneous. The only thing that really qualifies so one of those two places. Otherwise, it used to be you had to research that. And I sat there and stared at this thing for the longest time before I started, and I couldn't find it. It's right there. <laughs> I was looking for an S, not an E. And speaking of an E or an S, 
right over here, mortars. Last time I was thinking, well, and the time before also, when we were talking about research, I was thinking we would head into, oh, something like this next. Well, I'm thinking of as mortars, and then the incendiary mortars. I just read incendiary, I didn't read IEDs. We don't really need IEDs at this point. I want the ability to throw fire out there, and that really comes not from, from this, it comes from the mortars, plus the, the, uh, uh, machining bench over here where we can make the incendiary shells so that was all a, that was a big brain fart ignore all that but I have reset us for gas operation get us toward precision rifling so we can get some assault rifles so I'm thinking that's our next priority then I want to head backwards a little bit and get into uh, what was it over here passive coolers we can get those two done depends on if we can really dedicate some time to to research if we can't then we need to uh, shortcut these guys and get into this. This is a, a real easy fix for a, a heat wave that hits us. Kind of like that that uh, that cold snap that hit last autumn and really chilled everything. The heat wave makes everything miserable. And if you're not really prepared for it, which we're not right now, then really the only thing you can do is just uh, let them get right close to their breaking point and force them to stand in the freezer for a while and cool them down, start the timers over again, then let them out and go off and do the thing, whatever they were doing. Anyway, so we need to get power up in here, and that's another issue to deal with, as well as the long distance to make the run up here over and over and over again, which is causing the timer to advance. Right now we are at drone level low, which is causing Klaus needs... Psychic drone level, negative seven on most everybody. There was someone that was psychically dull or deaf. Well, deaf may have been one of the prisoners we got rid of, but there is a psychically dull in here. And how, um, Michael, how is it affecting you? Because you, psychic, no, you're a negative four. You're, you're the one that's, that's, uh, dull, right? Character, psychically dull, yeah. Um, who was it that was the other direction? Psychically, uh... Sensitive, I think is the way they call it. Let's see, right there. Now, looking for a dull. Sensitive. Catherine is going to have to be watched out for. So her needs right now, right there. She's got a 10, whereas Michael's got a 4 and everyone else has a 7. Okay, so there's that issue. The longer we take to do it, the more that's going to ramp up. And the more it's going to throw it at us. He's also going to affect all the animals. And they're going to come at us. It's going to get really exciting. Um, so we need to power these guys. Now, something that we can do, and, and uh, the new foundation brought this up too, we can take our own batteries. They can be reinstalled with power in them up there and get all ready to power that. We're only half filled though. Though it is 500, so we got 2,000 watt, watt days stored in these guys. That's quite a bit. It will run towards for quite some time, which Tomislav is... Somebody was on their way to turn this switch off, weren't they? No, apparently not. Let's turn you off. Tomislav is... He desperately wants to wear an alpaca wool toque. Hmm. Let's have you do this instead. That's a little bit more important. Save that power. We could shut down all of our lights, conserve power, spend time, build four new batteries right here, connect it up, and then haul these out there. There is that. We could build a solar panel out here and say two batteries and get those things charging right now before we even build the, the turrets. Just so we've got an extra, probably a day of, uh, of charge building up into it. And without having any use during the night, we're not going to lose any. So we'll just keep building and keep building. And that should be enough to pull this off. We're only going to run these turrets for, oh, maybe five or six rounds of shots before they're going to be uh, toast. This thing is going to, the, the mechanoids are going to come and just beat them up and, and blow them up. Hopefully take some damage when they do. Unfortunately, when the turret ignites, you know, like the fuse goes off, it gives enough time for whatever's there to get away. So sometimes you don't get lucky and actually damage anybody. So we could haul two of these out of here, though. Maybe we can do both. Maybe we can do both. Run a power wire down the length of it like we did over here so that we can tap at any point whether they're there or not. And pull two out, build two more in its place, haul those two up there, and put a solar panel in to continue their charge. 
just to guarantee there's enough. Boy, I'd hate to, you know, we could have made two more rounds of shots, but the power went out. That'd be, that'd be just horrible. Then we'd have to get up there and finish it by hand, and that's not going to be safe. So, so much to do. Where do we begin? Let's do plan on moving. Well, yeah. We'll construct before we will relocate, I think, as far as the construction queue. Let's just get these guys set. Let's reinstall you up in... Zoom out a little bit. We'll go quicker. Somewhere safe. Somewhere where they're less likely to target it and come around and, and uh, destroy it. This is mud. We've got a problem with mud. Okay. Um... Turrets are over here. I want to build as little as possible. It's all mud right there. You can construct on mud. Uh, let's rotate you around. All right, we'll just put you there. And back over here. Let's grab... Oh, it's a long run. Oh, it's going to take forever to walk over there. Reinstall you. Yeah, I had to pick a little bigger map, didn't I? You're right there. No, you're not. Reinstall you right here. If one blows up, it won't immediately ignite the other one and cause it to blow up. Now, it could ignite the wire, which will travel one space at a time like a fuse and light the other one. That's possible. And we're next to a tree here. Let's reinstall you even further down. Right there. Okay. I don't mind the extra wire in between. It doesn't cost that much. I think conduit is only one steel, right? Uh, power. One steel. Yeah. So if we were to... Don't want to go through a tree. We'll just do that. Okay. And then... Need to switch right there and then is that already mud it is let's ca cancel that switch let's go off to the side switch right here and then power out of that um, nope let's power right here right up in between now extension cords that should be plenty to get to there all right now I need to get to about here like so let's try to avoid all digging at all costs. Okay, that should work. If that explodes, it won't take out that junction, which will take out this guy here. So that should keep everything powered. I think that will reach. In case it doesn't, we'll go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four. I think we're safe. Okay, so power into here. We need to power these guys, though. Oops. And... Normally, you would think of a circuit as a power source going into a battery, out of a battery, into the items. It doesn't have to work that way in RimWorld. They just have to be touching. They just have to be connected. I would put the solar panel out over here, like so, and get this guy connected actually to the turret side of the switch. If something happens to these and it is daytime, this can still send power, 1700 watts, into these guys and power them as if there were no batteries in the circuit at all. So there's a backup battery, a power source. If we end up doing this at night, because our hand is forced and we have no choice, then we can still hopefully rely on these batteries to get the job done. Alright, so there's redundancy built into the system. There's three chances of lowering this guy down to 50%. Hmm is three enough I think so I think so along with our sniping at the same time I think so alright so there's essentially six items shooting at it two or three of them further away I think than the range of these guys which are well we saw that probably easier to do it this way yeah do it this way so we are we could get a little further out of range boom 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 Hmm. You know we could. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to leave it like this. That also gets it closer to our support devices over here, which I'd like to dismantle and take back. At least these guys and get some of the steel back from this. Now, we're going to need steel and we're going to need components. I believe for all of them. Even the battery, right? Uh, build. No, that doesn't work. Well, can I get it this way? No, what you're made of? Oh, come on. So, let's go to the source here. Battery. There we go. Two components and, and 50 steel. We need components. 
and we need steel. So I flagged these guys for steel. We've got these guys out here for components and steel. So that's very possible. Now, um, Lady Shell brought up that these guys will deteriorate over time. What I'm seeing here is that they're deteriorating from physical abuse. Um, these have been out here since we started. We're still 300 out of 300. Though the ones we've been shooting at using for cover, 244, 30. And if you remember that, or out of 300, and remember that very first battle, it was kind of kind of laughing that Rabbit and Klaus were down here, and Klaus had the sniper, and he was shooting, and he couldn't hit the side of a barn with the with the uh, sniper rifle, even though he uh, has the best shooting skill. And Rabbit was doing a good job of uh, taking out, I want to say it was Cather at that time. Um, Amelia. That kind of feels right. Whoever was one of our first ones in here. Um, this thing t took a lot of damage. We're at 196 out of 300. I'd be curious to see, I think what she was indicating is that, you know, by the percentage that it is degrading is is that amount of materials that you're no longer going to get out of these. But the ones that are just out in the sun and the rain, they seem to be holding their own. I haven't been dealing with these because they're kind of like, you know, storage containers in a sense. So that we don't have to go out and deal with it. Once we break them down, then they start to deteriorate. The individual parts, at least the components do. But they seem to be holding their own here. But we, they are, in this, at this, uh, for this situation, they are a great source of whatever we need to make this happen. So let's break down those two, even this one. And what were, what were in these things? Was it eight components? I'm not sure. Batteries took two each, and the these guys here, security. Right there, you need three. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Two of these ought to do it. Three should certainly do it. If not, we've got another one there, another one there. I set the map to drop several more than normal. Thinking we were specifically, you know, our, our, our ship, the Freedom's Drift, was going to break up over the top of us. So it seemed reasonable that a lot of parts came down into our area, along with our escape pods crashing in. So we've got quite a few of those around the map. So, boy, are we 20 minutes into this already? It's very possible we're not going to be actually fighting this battle this time. There is a lot to do to settle this up, and I wanted, for the sake of those who've never played the game before, and there are quite a few that are that are kind of seeing at least Beta 18, but, you know, RimWorld in general for the first time, or, you know, have just bought it and are playing it for the first time and kind of exploring all this with us. I want to do a lot of explaining, at least telling you what I know about it. Quite a few things that I know are outdated because they're not Beta 18 level, but uh, know enough to keep myself in trouble so anyway what do we got going on here you guys roll call you're flicking a switch and then what your needs you're not that bad a shape we can get some work out of you and you've got the fibrous you do not so your work your run speed is back to 4.5 okay um but you've got a decent uh uh construction construction seven Klaus, you've got the eight, right? Yeah, you're second best on construction. And you are just needing a meal, and you can get going. They will get you to work on building batteries out there. Transporting batteries out there. Building a, a, a workaround over here. There we go. Power. We need, once this goes away, our conduit is broken. So we need to forget the switch. It's not necessary. That was a mistake putting that in. We're going to run you across in here. We're going to bridge through this. So I need Klaus. Once you get finished with grabbing a meal. Yep. Yeah, because your immunity was just about done, right? 98%. Okay. So once you're done with that, you're going to get started doing this. And we should have steel. Darn. There. Um there nope near steel he's either in this area which probably is at the point that i am giving these orders right now seems to be the point at which they are calculating their path so if i wanted klaus to build something out of wood over here 
he's not going to run up here and grab that wood and build it. He's going to grab the closest wood to where he is right here, which is right over there. So you got to kind of plan that. Where you give the orders is where they start planning when they're going to do all their various things. So he will grab steel probably out of here to take with him to do that job. Um, so that's that. Tomislav, I was going to say you can grab a battery and start going, but we can't do that until this has been uh, been uh, worked on. So we we've, we've got a, a pathway surrounding those batteries. So that won't work. Um, I did before getting started set Alicia, who's would be smart to get a meal first. On your way out, grab a meal uh, right there, and then head up and begin the process of this really long run here or here I'm gonna go for here start tapping away at that okay Miss B you are our other best deck our best digger miner um, you're resting you're sleeping right now and it is uh, night owl issues here too so yeah Okay, so you're you're off the hook for a little bit. Michael, you are why? Let's toggle over to you. You're over here, you are cutting stone block from chunks, so you're going out to go find one. Okay. Um Mood is fine. Beauty just went up. Oh, had been going up. This has been cleaned out quite a bit. Okay. Um let's see here. Otherwise you're 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 in good shape. You character fort mining run speed 4.5 okay how best can we use each of these characters is what i'm thinking about where can we use a michael out here right now it doesn't have any construction skills that are significant it doesn't have any mining skills that are significant either and doesn't have a run a fast run speed hmm really can't at the moment so i'll, th I'll think about that one natalia you are tending to Cathra and you. So the last of the of the uh, medications being administered. Okay, Sangria is in bed. Needs she's she's still got a half a half a day's sleep to, to get into her. So leave her alone for now. Klaus, you're already set. Shantigo, you are a good miner, and I've already made the choice of sending you up there too. All right, so you're going to start digging away with Alicia. That's right, Rabbit. You, what did I set for you? We're going to be setting the animals soon into their their safe places, and there's not much food. So we need to get kibble reloaded. We need to get hay going in here. The kibble here is almost gone. The, the animals go outside during the day, and they run in here and grab food. And we don't have a lot of grass growing inside here for our ranged animals to just nibble on, on grass. So they're coming here for food, so we're empty. We're going to be locking them in here for a while. I don't know how long. Depends on if we have a raid coming in at the same time. So they could be in here for quite a while. So I've set Rabbit to start hauling hay in here. And after that, boy. Ha. Huh, only certain ones can make kibble. Let's think about that. Who? Rabbit. Your rabbit? Yeah. Your character cooking for. You could. We've got kibble set at zero. Skill level. Right? Yeah, zero. You could. Now, rabbit. Where are you? There. Needs, you were fine. And you didn't have... You do have a fast run speed, though. Okay. You make kibble after you have delivered the... The, uh... Hay grass. Where am I? Rabbit, you're right there. Shift, right there. There we go. Butchering. And that will be kibble. That'll be the first priority. You work on that until this gets built, and then I'm going to have you haul batteries. Okay. So Handy is sound asleep. No, she's heading. She's heading to get a meal. She's she's ready to crash. She needs rest. So she's. I've set her to get a meal, and then go grab a sniper rifle, and then go to bed. So she'll be doing that. So Tomislav, we're still wondering what to do with you. You're going to flick a switch. You're going to want to go swap out a toque because your toque is shoddy and 93%, whereas this alpaca wool toque over here is normal. So you're having a little toque envy going on there. <laughs> um, your run speed, no, you're not. The alpaca 
Wool Tukes run speed. Tomislav, you have slowed down. Yeah, you're back to almost completely normal now. Yeah. Okay. So, um, who was set? Klaus was set to go build. Okay. So, Tomislav, what to do with you? You do have construction skills. You do. And after that, let's. You got rest over there, but you can get over here with the first load of steel. Does that make sense? I don't think it does. You can get over here and start to, to tear something down, though. That you can do. Why don't you go over here and do that one? And then think about that. That one. And then where's the other one? We had one there. We had clear this out. One there, one there, and I thought another one real close. There. Okay. Yeah. Tomislav, you're going to do... Well, in fact, they're both right here. Let's just deal with this. Set to deconstruct. Okay. Do that one. Then you're going to do this one. Then you're going to go off and do whatever you need at that point, which is probably grab some sleep by then. Okay. So that sets you and everything stacked right, right? Switch and then two of those. So that gets us our components that we need up there. Is that everybody? I think so. We can turn this on. There we go. And just see what happens. Hmm. Alicia's heading up there. Handy is finishing off here. Klaus 2. We've got uh, uh, Natalia trading herself next. Kathra was just a little more rest, and then I'll get her a meal and get her going. Same as Sangria. Handy's grabbing the sniper. Rabbit is dumping off 100. And make kibble. It's 100 enough. Can the pigs eat that? They can eat almost anything, if I remember right. So, hay grass, are you in here? Vegetables. Is hay grass separate from vegetables? Uh, we'll look at the alpaca, and that should tell us. Alpaca can eat vegetables. Live plants. Doesn't say hay grass, so I'm assuming the pigs can eat hay grass as well. But we do need kibble in here, too. And there's a chance that the pigs and the alpaca will eat the kibble and just leave the hay grass. Hmm. Okay, I was wondering whether to send Rabbit in here to to uh, grab some more hay grass or just get him working on the kibble. I think we'll do the kibble. Okay. So, otherwise, running up into here. We've got Tomasov heading up to work on that. We still have the fire going on here. I was curious if the fire would continue to, de to degrade this. We've got 1190 out of 1200 still, so nothing has happened there. But it's possible... If it does degrade it, it could trigger these guys to pop out, and then we won't be able to do any of this. I mean, we could... There are so many unknowns about this right now that I'm a little concerned. Um, right there, 1190 still. Okay. So we don't seem to be... This burning tree against it is not doing any good. And you won't tell me your, abil your flammability, will you? You will. Zero percent. There's that answer. Okay. No worries about that. So nothing should pop out at us accidentally. Okay. All right. Um, Alicia is wearing that toque. And Alicia just didn't make it. She's consuming a fine meal. Didn't I already tell you to do that? Needs. I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Well, you consume a fine meal and then... In fact, um, Shantigo didn't make it up here either. I'm going to have to babysit their paths, I'm pretty sure. So, Alicia, when you're done with your fine meal, you're going to do this. Shantigo, you are digging at compacted steel. Yeah, you, you, you kind of didn't make it. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to try this again. Shantigo, focus here. Focus. Come on up into here and do... There we go. Do that one. All right. We're going to have to uh, <laughs> keep their attentions focused there. All right. You're going to do that. Alicia's going to give a meal. She's going to do that. Who else? Klaus, you're next. You have not. We've lost you. We lost Klaus. Klaus is praying. His social, his joy must be quite low. Um, actually, I, I could really use some, some prayer right now anyway so I'm gonna actually gonna let you but when you get done you're gonna head over and do that and there to there yeah okay um, after that it was rabbit that was going to do the running but and Tomislav 
who is now oh he's doing that so rabbit you're going to be running batteries as soon as that is made uh that's right we are babysitting right now sangria is up okay shantigo has already given up so we're going to try him again right over there prioritize doing that alicia right there you're still eating sangria you got up you are taming a boomalope let's see how can we best use you for this situation your mining is a four not that great your construction is a three even worse your run speed is a 4.16 not that great either hmm how can we use you how can we use you you're taming a boomalope you're heading up into here hmm I guess just having you come out here and tap at it for a while even though your mining skill isn't very good we can just get one or two of these blocks out of you sure we'll do that um, I'll have to babysit you to keep you there otherwise I have to go through and change your work schedule well maybe I will just for this mining is right there I'll take that to a one I'll take handle down and that should accomplish the goal just have to go back and reset all of this so thinking that way who else can get up there even though they're not that great Michael you probably could needs I can get a couple of taps out of you yep I think so let's and you'll run out of rest about the same time you run out of food so there's no real advantage there so let's send you up into this area too. do we diversify We've got all this already here. There is that. There is that. Hmm. Okay, never mind on you. We'll just let you go. Okay, so Klaus, where did you end up? You are on your way. No, you're not. You went mining. <laughs> oh, yeah. Warden and... Really? Mining is a two. Construction is a three, but... Uh, but still, you completely ignored the order, or you already finished it. No, you, you just did the one and you left. Okay, back over here. And actually, pause. We'll do that, we'll do that, we'll do that, and we'll do that. We'll just make sure it gets done this time. And with that, Tomislav, you are still up here tending to handy. Now you, I know you, you, you've got, you're really concerned. Actually, you did your two things. You did. What'd they give us? 8 and 8, 16. Okay. Let's see. Character mining for... Hmm. Tending to Handy. What's with Handy? Handy is sleeping, and she needs... Still needs a lot of rest, health. She needs her next treatment for fibrous mechanitis. Actually, Natalia can do that for you. And you already know that she's trustworthy so in fact she's already here that makes more sense so we'll, we'll, we'll relay a, a message by walkie-talkie to you that uh, Handy's got this Handy is asleep though because she... really now her immunity is almost there but I thought we had told her not to rest until healed we did yet it's still happening oh it is no not daytime work um, one more time there right there needs interesting oh well let's just have you do that and I don't think you'll give her a disturbed sleep because you're already in the room that would be nice if that happened then what for Natalia afterward um, character mining a four so many four miners otherwise construction is not there and hauling is not there so I think you're just going to be our resident doctor down here right now. Tomislav, you are now going to eat, of course. Feeding a fine meal to Natalia. <laughs> you're so confused. Um, let's... Boy, how do I... Oh, you put it away. I've never seen them put it away before after they took it out. Interesting. Okay, now you want to research. Let's get you to actually start constructing this solar panel let's go that route and for that matter okay that's Tomislav rabbit you are right here you are making kibble so did we deliver some kibble we did how much 39 okay so 15 we've already eaten some oh no we we topped off this one took the rest over there so we still need another round of kibble made but you've got a good running speed you are going to start the process of hauling 
this one. Nope. Gotta go over here. Oh, it's a long run. Hauling this guy. Right there. Okay. You're gonna do that, and it's gonna take you about as much time to get to it as Klaus is, is to go ahead and get this done. Who else is available that's got a decent run speed? Shantigo no longer has any of the advantages of being sick. So, Klaus, you are... You do. So when you get these done, then you can haul the other one. Uh, your needs were good. Okay. So you can bring the other battery. And that's this one over here. So right there. Added it to the queue. Good. So that's all done. Batteries are on their way. I need constructors now. So Tomislav, you're going to bring supplies to get this guy set up. And then I need you to... I guess bring supplies to get that going, and then supplies to get that going. Just stack all these in here, and we'll see if it's possible. Even supplies to get that going. All right, we'll see if it's possible to get all those supplies laid out. By the time that you get all that done, then Handy will be up and can run over there and start constructing it. All right, so that's kind of happening. What else is going on down here? Catherine is eating, and she's cleaning dirt. So your skills... Let me guess, mining at four? No, your mining is only at one, so I can't really use that at all. Construction at one. I can get you to haul parts. Your run speed, though, is a 3.85. Uh, needs, you're in great shape, though. Once I get you there, you can just keep hauling parts over and over again. Okay. Now, you, though, are the one most affected by the drone but you've got all these pluses here. All right, let's do that. Kethra, you're going walkabout. Although, getting you there, I still haven't got anybody up here, have I? I've already lost track of them. No, Shantigo made it this time. <laughs> okay, Kethra, why don't you come in and start bringing parts to this one, right there. And once you're there, I'll try to keep you there. Okay, that's why I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend a lot of time on pause because if these guys will sneak away from me so easy. Alicia, is actually trying to get there. Nope, she gave up and she went over here. All right, so you are going to be diverted to here one more time. And who else was divertible? Miss P, you, it is, remind me, Night Owl was until 1800. We're at 1700. I'd say that's close enough. Needs, your rest is just about done. Let's grab you a meal right in there. Consume, and then you are on your way out here as well. Let's get as much of this queued moving. What just happened there? I held shift and I clicked in here and it queued moving. I've never seen that before. Normally you don't get moving until you hit draft. Ooh, that's weird. <laughs> Let's just queue to do that one, but I didn't know you could do that. Really? Shantigo, can I tell you to move to there? I can't. I'm holding the shift down and I'm right-clicking right there. That's what I did with her. I think it's because I went to a place that you can't reach. No, it didn't work. There. Hit that and it him to move over there. Tell me what you know about that, because that's new to me. Cancel all that. You do that. You're already mining. Okay. Happy as can be. All right, let you guys run while I think about this. Who else can I get to do something? Natalia is tending to handy because you were closest to these over here, but I can't get you to haul. I was going to say, let's bring them all in, but I can't. Okay, well... Okay, that was weird. Oh, Tomislav was still queued to pick up this one to give to her. And so this was not available for handy or for Natalia, who was standing right there. Oh, those little... Yeah. Okay. That's Cathra, who is going after Steel over here to bring with her. Okay. Rabbit is bringing a battery. We have a circuit right here. And we are uh, not out of power. No blackout because we had the that in place. Okay. Let's get... Turn this back on. Let's get two more of these constructed. For that matter, let's go ahead and lay these in here and lay conduit across the top and a switch right there. We can turn this circuit on, charge them all up, turn it off, 
and just leave them there charged. And something. Oh, I hate those. Oh, that, that spooks me. Um, and then if something happens and we lose this whole charge, we can flick a switch and we're powered again. So that's what I've been meaning to do for oh, 30 episodes. Um, so we're, we're riding out these edges over here, probably right there. That's fine. Okay. Anyway, we're still winter. I was going to say we don't need to replant, but yeah, once we're done... Once spring officially hits, our grow season hits, I'll just take the roof off of this guy and we'll just continue working on that. Um, getting dark already and fire is still burning. And what is happening here? Klaus, you are resting. Needs, you have hit just some wonkiness. Nothing here is triggering you to rest, but you still want to anyway. We're not hitting the rest period over here. Klaus is right there and we're at 1800. So that's not it. Your disease though. Okay, is that it? So turn you off. Actually just click on Klaus and health. That's it right there. You need a uh, you need a treatment. I'm going to ignore that for a little bit. Klaus has the best construction skill short of handy. You are going to uh, construct. Con actually, no, I've got to do this way. Uh, cancel all those. You're going to construct that, 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 and that. Switch is done. Good. You're going to keep building me power circuits through there. Okay. And this needs what? Still needs supplies brought to it. Thomas Love probably escaped. He's right there. He's out of here. Uh, researching. I'll tell you what, tear this down. On your way. We don't need the research at uh, emergency uh, uh, rate right now. So you do those two. They'll just be available to us should we need them. Okay. Um, Rabbit, you are hauling... Klaus got there first. Interesting. Okay. Then, Rabbit, you're going to do that, and then you're going to... You're not skilled up enough to do that. Okay. Your skill is what? Construction, four. Klaus, belay that order. You're going to work on that. Rabbit, you're going to drop that off. Then you are going to... In fact, I've got to cancel all of that. Nope, that's already canceled. Then, Rabbit, you are going to build these because a four should be able to do this just fine without too much danger of blowing it. And you can be busy doing all that stuff. Not as fast as Handy does, who merely has to look at it with her Superman gaze and you know, laser them right into place. But Okay, you're going to do that, and then... Yeah, I can't even get you to haul of these, unfortunately. But Kathra, if I can get her up here, she'll do that. Kathra, Alicia, made it to here. Okay, we're going to keep trying to get Alicia over here. You try to get to there. <laughs> and that's right, we lost uh, Miss P. Where is she? She made it that far. She is digging a compacted steel up over here to... Boy, you're taking the long way around. Okay, let's try to just get you straight over there. Okay. All right. What other uh, uh, drama can we get into here now? Um, Natalia, I can't do much with you. Don't have the skills for this emergency. I'm just looking for names. You're all that's in the base right now, aren't you? And Michael's over here. You needs... Well, I wish I can get you to get a rest so I can use you over there later. But you are kind of advancing the base over here. That's helpful. Can you make kibble? Is there any reason why you couldn't? I bet you you could. Not a sign to cooking. All right, we can fix that. Um, work. Is that something... That was something I was putting on fours for everybody. Right there and right there. Okay. In that case, Rabbit lost ya. I'm not Rabbit. Michael, there you are. And let's have you make kibble. All right. So that will keep the animals or get the animals ready for this. And I can't make you haul. I still want to get more of this hay grass in there. We've got... I was worried about running out of it. Let me pause again. I see somebody escaping over there. They're escaping. We've got, uh, right there, we've got over 600, almost 700 by the time you add the other, other pile to it. Alright, so Kathra, you have made it this far. And, you know, if you're assigned to do something like that, maybe you will make it all the way. But just in case, now your needs, you're still doing fine. Let's tell Kathra to assemble 
this one and then assemble that one. She will drop it, then she'll pick it back up again. And she'll continue, she'll start her timer over again. All right, so that's you. Tomislav is fine. He doesn't have a timer issue. Shantigo and Alicia are here and they're working away. Good. And let's, while I'm thinking of it, set those will cancel these. Those are most likely going to be steel in there. Uh, Klaus is working away at this. Oh, good. And your needs right there. You're good for a little bit longer. Let's have you also um, shift and work on that one. Okay. This switch needs to be turned off. Ooh, that's a problem. Turn, don't do that. Okay. Do that now. Problem is, somebody way down there is going to get the order to go flick that switch. And they'll run across the entire map. Okay. Now... Oh, you still have the order to do the turret. Great. You'll do that one. Catherine's going to start hauling supplies into that one. You guys are chipping away. Miss a P, where are you now? You've made it to there. Let's try one more. I may have done that wrong. I may have added to a queue to come do this one. But let's get you over here as well. And Tomislav, you have broken down that one and that one, and you are calling it a day. Thank you. Go grab a meal first, though, so you're ready as soon as your sleep is done. Right over here. And speaking of meals, we're down to 36. Okay, got to get through this before... Well, we've still got simple meals to fall back on, so that's fine. Who's in here? Anybody? No names. No names. Rabbit is resting. Needs. Let's have you grab a meal first, too. All right, that's always a better practice. I wish they would do that. Though, real, you know, realistically, they would grab a meal first thing in the morning on their way out. You know, big breakfast kind of thing. But, yeah, it just works easier in my the way I see it. Michael, you are making kibble. Great. And, well, I wish I could make you haul all that, but you're only going to haul enough to do the job. Okay. That's fine. So, nobody else is down here, right? Natalia? Handy's in bed. Rabbit is... Got his meal. He's going to bed. You're going to bed by resting. Needs. Pyrus mechanitis. And... Flu is immune. Okay. Let's have you rest in this bed. Instead. In fact, let's just turn that back to your bed. So there's no confusion here. You're a rabbit. You're going there. Which means I'm not going to get you to go in there. Hmm... Oh, well. Oh, changed your mind. Okay, good. You do that. And this one is Cathra. Let's get all these things reset. Cathra right there. This one is Natalia. Right there. That is everyone. If you insist on a hospital bed, we got this bank over here until we have prisoners coming in. All right, so with that, Rabbit, you are definitely going to make it to bed. You are which means Natalia, right there. Why don't you go and treat Rabbit, get that done. And who else? Well, I guess you'll, at that point, re-evaluate everyone who needs something. You're consuming five mil, you're going to bed. And we're at 50 minutes into this episode. Man, I like to talk. <laughs> Catherine's finally getting here. Klaus, you are grabbing steel, good. This is working. Shantigo's cloud watching. Stargazing. Needs. You're not doing too bad over here. I think I will I will disturb your calm and get you back to work. Alicia, you are digging out, okay? And Miss P, where are we now? We made it to there. Let's try this again. Right there. All these short attention spans, I tell ya. You're gonna land here next, aren't you? Yep. You really want to mine, you just don't know what. And I set Sangria for mining, thinking I was going to get her out here too, and it never really happened. So, tell you what, we're close enough now to done. I'm going to go ahead and just give you your life back. Sangria, you are now back to handling, and your mining be taken down a notch. So you'll grow next, and you'll plant cut actually next, and then you'll grow. No, actually you'll clean next. Okay, grow all right, I think that kind of resets you. Miss a P, one more time. Shortchange your your timer. Send you to there. Okay. All right, Cather is escaping. Get you back over here. All right, you're going to haul steel too. You're going to end components too, and all that it takes to keep these guys going. So you're going to do that one. Then you're going to do that one. 
Then you're going to do... Where's Klaus working? Klaus is heading for this one. Okay. That switch is off. Ooh. Big mistake. Big mistake. I just realized this power doesn't make it to the batteries. Yeah. Error. Uh, power. Let's just circle around. Hmm. That won't work. That won't work. It really won't. Okay. So you've got to go over here and go to there. Yeah, that won't work. This is going to power these guys when we don't want them to be powered. I want to be able to flick a switch and have them all activate. That won't work. Okay. Then we'll correct that one right now. Deconstruct there. Yeah. So power is going to go in here, charge the batteries, go through the switch when we turn it on to the turrets. That's better. Okay. So Klaus... Why don't you just drop that right there and get to work on this instead? You, no, 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 you, you're right there, you, that, right there. Thank you, do that. Okay, and then drop that off there, perfect. Yeah, go ahead and drop that off there. And then you're going to do that, perfect. You're gonna, no, you're going to do this and that and that and that and that. Boom, 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 boom. That is almost handy speed. And that, and that, and that, and that. That will... No, not after you, Rast. Try it again. There. That will give us power charging when the sun comes up tomorrow, whether you're here or not. Um, power. That was already power. There. All right. That's more like it, but we got to get this one built. Plus, you're going to do that one. And that will put a charge in there tomorrow. First thing in the morning. Boom. Okay. That's done. Now, how bad off are you really? You really kind of are. You're getting close to this and you got a long walk to go. I can't get you to just do one last more little thing. Okay. Handy's up. And with that, we're probably going to see the end of this episode. Um, needs. You need to get food. And yeah, let's do that. Get you a meal. You do that. And then you're going to head straight up in here and finish the construction. There will be parts already set into all of these so that you'll hopefully just continue working. So, Cathra, you're going to drop off parts there. And let's watch and see what you do. Otherwise, uh, real quick, what else is happening? Shantigo is stargazing again. He just can't take it. Um... That's because of his schedule, right? We are at 2200. You're just finishing up a round of stargazing. Yeah, Shantigo right there. All right. In fact, these could probably all come off. That's right. I manually... Oh, what do I want here? Right there. I manually got rid of Joy down this whole run between episodes. I never put them back. I'm going to take it away here. This isn't truly needed anymore. Not with the wedding uh, and the attended party and all the stuff that's still in their stats. Because um, I was working them and I was getting tired of them wanting to go joy on me. <laughs> so I, I cracked the whip. Anyway, you can... Let's do that one more time. Needs. You're still fine for a little bit longer. Let's get you up into here. We have steel over here yet, but that's just that much quicker for handy to be doing this and this never did get done we'll just have to ignore that for now and miss P never made it did she i think she is kind of given up on us yeah she oh, oh wait you're right there in front of me you did make it thank you okay you right there okay that one that one klaus you're going home you're going back alicia is needs she's needing it yep yeah, let her go all right so, Sangria as well, resting, needs. You don't truly need it. You just hit a timer that said you needed it. But that means you'll be energized for tomorrow when we, our next episode, when we really get in and, and pop this thing. Anything else to do in preparation of that? Batteries really could be built. Really need to get at least these two done. Um, sangria, I can't get you to do that because you. I can? I didn't think you had the skill to qualify. Construct three. Wouldn't that need like a six to build a battery? Maybe not. I don't want you to build it. I just want you to bring supplies. Your supplies, though, 
are all the way up there. Yeah, cancel that. That's too long. Okay. All right, then. Well, we need to get this guy built soon before we have an issue. We're, we're a little bit, uh, um, you know, a little bit worrisome down there in our power supply. These were available, but I really want these for our turrets. So anything else to do right now? Hendy's on her way up, and you are hauling steel. You're grabbing some of this to head up there with it. Okay. I think what I will do now is just babysit the construction of all of this so we can start next episode ready to do something. We're still on low. I don't know how long it goes before that timer triggers to the next level and where we're going to be standing at that time. Cathra is doing a good job of just bringing stuff in here. That's good. Oh, good. Yes, if you can get these laid out, then Handy will build them really quick. And you're heading up to this guy to top it off. And that gives us not enough, but you are hauling components in. Did that give us enough? I didn't think you could go for components until you max that out. How about this one? There, you're going for these components. Right? No, you're not. Okay, well, there's a change in uh, from what I'm used to. They could never get to the next one until they completed the first one, the steel, in Alpha 13. So that... Ooh, I just saw a change. So that um, if you didn't have enough steel, you could never haul the components. But I just saw this act like a poison ship. This whole area here is going to start to mist over. Poison ship will put a, a poison fog out here and start killing off all of the wildlife and all of the, the plant life. I didn't realize that psychic ships had a similar phenomena. Interesting. This is snow. The psychic ship is making snow. Okay. Temperature of 34. Out over here, 34. So we're not seeing a temperature change. But we're getting snow over here. Interesting. But not the fire tail. Okay. Well, with that, yeah. I guess that's all the damage I can do at the moment. I'll get the turrets ready. And we burned our, our trees over here. Yeah. And next time we'll figure out the tactics to break into this guy and <laughs> see what, what happens. Okay, we'll leave it there. It's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for listening to my ramblings, and I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.